Semper Terra. Daemonis. Congratulations. You have done well, my friend. I see you have united the powers. Excellent. We can now end this. Once and for all. Come. Yes. Let's bring an end to this charade. Finally, it is time for the truth. Let us remove our masks. You! You are the Lord of the Necromancers! The final Lord! Now you begin to understand! Yes, Gabriel! It was I who cast the spell that separated the Earth from the Heavens! I knew this would force my brothers and sister in Heaven to contact the Order here on Earth! The prophecy was their little ray of hope in the dark. We Lords of Shadow, as you call us, have been impotent for far too long, fixed in an uneasy truce for many centuries, each possessing our share of the power, but each unable to have mastery over the others. Until now. I grew so tired of these years of proliferation, a constant truce between the three of us, each unwilling to concede or cooperate with the others. They were too blind to see the potential in the power we held. If only it were combined. I desired that ultimate power and was prepared to probe the very depths of hell in search of knowledge to acquire it. I fought hordes of demons and became strong. Then a force so vast and terrible entered into me, expanding my knowledge of the dark arts until it reached unimagined heights. All I needed was someone to restore the luminous power of the spirits according to the prophecy, and you have been the perfect dupe. Of course, I couldn't arouse their suspicions that it was I who desired the power for my own. No, I used the prophecy as my cover. And you, my shining knight. I will not allow you to stand in my way, Zobek. I'm sure you won't. But you really have no say in the matter, my dear friend. I could quite easily kill you for your insolence. But fortunately, there is no need. What do you mean? The Gauntlet will do it for me. As I told you, dark power is my dominion, forged in the pits of hell no less. There was just the small matter of the child and her protector. But you came through with flying colors. I needed your strength of will and courage to complete the quest, but I couldn't risk you becoming too powerful. I needed to control you at the end, once you had murdered them. I knew you would never be able to challenge me whilst wearing it. Poor little Claudia. Such a sweet thing. No. You have exceeded even my wildest expectations, killing and butchering your way to victory. There is a terrible darkness in you, my friend. Your burning desire to resurrect your darling Marie has blinded you to it. As you slept, 
I was able to influence you with this mask. But even I did not foresee the beast that lay within. It was all too easy to make you kill them. Your penchant for murder and death were insatiable. You just needed a little nudge, and off you would go in search of the one thing that could bring her back. Yes, Gabriel, now you finally understand. It was you who murdered your wife. No! You lie! Bastard! Search your soul, Gabriel. You know it to be true. I was worried she would reveal my charade to you at the lake. But it seems she had a false hope that even a killer such as you could redeem himself and save the world. Even the child, Claudia, could see her own demise at your hands. And yet she also trusted in you to the bitter end. Glorious, isn't it? God himself sees you for what you are. A cold-blooded murderer. Beyond redemption? Beyond hope. Let me free you of your heavy burden. Goodbye. Old friend. <laughs> Hail, mighty Zelbeck. Who's there? Who? Don't you remember me? I came to you in the void. I granted you knowledge and power. Power that you could never have obtained on your own. Surely you haven't forgotten. In fact, I planted the idea for this whole elaborate ruse into your tiny mind in order to serve my own higher purpose. I no longer need your assistance. The power is now mine. No! No! Father, I come for you. Before the end, you will bow down to me! It is your time, Gabriel. Don't be afraid. Come with us. Join us. Get away from him. Don't wake him. Don't touch him! You cannot have him! <laughs> if you take him, we are all lost. Darkness will triumph, and there will never, ever be peace or hope. We will be trapped here forever. Don't you see? 
We must grant him the power to go Will back. Will he free us? Will we see the light that was promised? I believe in him. His heart is pure. He is our last hope. Our only hope. So, he has abandoned you too. So be it. Join me. I will love you more than he. I was adored once above all others. I too didn't deserve to be cast out, abandoned. Now you know what that feels like, don't you? Hate can bring us back, give us strength, embrace it. It is what is in men's hearts that he cares about. He loves you as he loves me. We have only to ask for forgiveness deep within ourselves and be welcomed back. You monkeys don't deserve redemption. It is my divine right to rule by his side as an equal, or perhaps more than that. You would rather rule in power and might than to offer forgiveness and love. This is why you are cast out, unholy one. You dare to challenge me? You will die for your blasphemy. Your soul belongs to me. <sighs> You have been fooled, Gabriel! She is gone forever! Sean! Impossible! Is that the power of God? the name of Belmont from this world forever! No! Stay back from me.
with this damned. I ask forgiveness and mercy for those that I have wronged. What I did, I did unknowingly. Yet I would change everything if I could. He isn't listening, Gabriel. Your fate is fixed. Every man has the power to repent. I have faith in that. Forgive me. Forgive me. My God. I will have such fun with your Murray. I will introduce her to such pleasures. Her soul will go only to him. Once I have finished with you. Angel! My love. I am alive. No. I do not want this. Why has my life been given back to me? It is your fate. You have been given back what was wrongfully taken from you. To repent your sins. To make amends. But without you? You freed them all. You saved us all, my Gabriel. I couldn't save you. I knew I could not tell you, or despair would have eroded your resolve and everything would have been lost. I had faith in you, hoped that you would be strong enough to free the world, and you did not let me down. I am not worthy of your faith, your love. I am nothing. You are a good man, Gabriel. You are as God intended, fallible, yet capable of great things. I loved you then, as I love you now. I see before me a man who has regained God's favor, and who has my forgiveness, and the forgiveness of all the lost souls of this world. You have saved us all, and you have saved yourself. The mask is a powerful device. It allows us to see through God's eyes. Can it really bring the dead back? Yes. Look. Too late for me, my love. I cannot come back. No. No, don't go. It is my time. The light is calling. I'm not no. afraid. Please, stay. Stay with me. It's beautiful, Gabriel. So beautiful. It's calling to me. Calling. I love you, Marie. I love you.
It seems like only yesterday that I stood there upon that cliff top, looking down into the abyss of my life. Everything that I'd ever loved taken from me. Defeating the Lords of Shadow had been a hollow victory. Now I was on a journey. A journey that I could never imagine in my darkest nightmares. As I stood there contemplating my fate, a voice entered my thoughts. Gabriel. Hear me, Gabriel. I need your help. I... I am afraid. It's not safe for me here anymore. I have no one left to turn to. Gabriel, you must help me! A cry for help that I could not ignore. A debt was owed. A life for a life. And what was left of my broken humanity felt obliged to do the honorable thing. To repay that debt. Looking back now, I realize that none of us has any real control over our fate. We are like leaves on the wind, to be blown wherever we may. <laughs>